Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jennifer, and today we're gonna to be using some products from Olivia Palermo Beauty. I have used her line before, but I've only had one eyeshadow palette. The one I had was Au Natural. I'll swatch it again for you guys today because I wanna show you it in comparison to the new one that just came out, which I believe is pronounced Regalia. Could be wrong. I think it's Regalia. Um, I had to pick it up, first of all, because, <laughs> because there's a green in it. <laughs> uh, those of you who have watched me for a while know that uh, I, I will always pick up, I will always pick up a, a, a shadow that has green in it, a palette. Um, if it's a luxury kind of palette or product and it has green eyeshadow, yeah, I'm probably gonna buy it. Um, but this time I also picked up one of her lipsticks. Um, and I bought it in Rosebud. These are matte lipsticks, but from what I understand, they are pretty creamy. We will find out. This is what the packaging looks like. And when I reviewed her palette, the Au Natural, way back, I said that I really did enjoy the formula, which I do. I thought the Au Natural palette was really beautiful. I really liked the shades. I thought they worked really well, um, and I enjoyed it. But I have to admit, the thing I like most about it is the packaging. Um, <laughs> it's beautiful. Like, it's heavy. It's dense. It's uh, just uh, elegant and luxurious. I mean, if you're going to talk about beautiful packaging, this is it. And she continues it with her lipstick. I mean, it's, that's stunning. And it's heavy. It's got some heft to it. What I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna swatch the regalia for you so you can see the shades, do an eye look with it, use the lip, um, and then I'll show you Au Natural as well. There's one other eyeshadow palette that she has. I'm gonna swatch the Au Natural. Um, and honestly, I cannot remember the name right now, but um, you know, it's just a different color story. What I would say is that her shadows aren't, they're not super creamy or super pigmented. I wouldn't, they're, they're more powdery, um, but they do look really nice on the eye. They are good shadows. And I believe that, you know, the quality is there. It's not that it isn't. Um, it's just that the packaging is so amazing that I think um, it kind of just like you're just me anyway. I, I was just so impressed by the packaging that I was just like, oh yeah, and their product's good. Um, and I said when I did the review of the O Natural, I'm definitely going to pick up more, and I didn't just because um, honestly, there's so many releases that. It just got, you know, got out of hand. And <laughs> I just didn't have time to pick everything up. This shade, this blue, is really quite beautiful. Okay, so that's the Au Natural. Let's take a look at the new one, the Regalia. Wow, that's a very pigmented brown right there. It's a deep brown and it's very soft, so it came out, wow, that's a beautiful gold. Like, it's like a copper, actually. Look at that, okay. Yeah, that's really nice. Ooh, the green feels very soft. Ooh, very pretty. You know I'm gonna have to use the green. Wow, okay. Yeah, so far this is very nice. These are, more shimmery, I think, than the Au Natural. Don't get me wrong, in the Au Natural, these two sh colors are very shimmery, and this one's a satin, but this is a matte, and the these seem to be satins, like all of these. The blue is almost like a topper uh, in the Au Natural. These are all very soft. They're softer in formula. The last is really shimmery gray. Ooh, yeah, okay, that's like the blue, but it's creamier. So 
So that's the regalia. Looks really pretty. All right, let's go ahead and try this out. Let's take the matte shade um, and just pounce that in a little bit. No, it's very pigmented. You do not need a lot on your brush, guys. Okay, we've got the matte shade on the eye. That's really pretty. It's easy to blend out. It's a cool tone, it's a cool toned brown. Um, it's deep though, but it's very pretty. So I kind of, <laughs> it's interesting. I'm like, should I use all the shades? I'm tempted to just use, well, we'll use all the shades, okay. The problem for me, I've seen how people do green and purple together. I never really like that look on me. I don't really like to mix a purple and a green. It's just not, it's not a look that I necessarily like. I've seen it on other people and it looks fantastic. Um, so let's use the purple as like an accent. Let's take, I mean, these cases are incredibly heavy, guys. You could use this as like a weapon. Um, let's take the, the shade, the lightest shade here, and we'll build with this shade. And then we'll use these shades. This shade is like an accent. This is a topper, and we'll use this as a liner. All right, let's start. Very pigmented. You don't need a lot, which is great. So that's like the coppery shade. You could absolutely use this as an inner corner, or if you wanted to, you know, diffuse it out on the brow bone, you could do that too. I'm gonna use this as an all over eye color because I personally like the way it looks against my eyes when I wear a copper. I just think it's a good contrast. Now let's take that purple and what I'm going to do is just use it out here to kind of build this up. To be honest, if I were doing this just for like my look and not trying to show you all the colors, I'd use the purple. I use the purple by itself or I would use the purple with like a cream or I use the purple with other purples. I'm not much again. This is my, you know, my aesthetic. I, I like purples. I like purples with other purples or I like purples with cream or something. I'm not really somebody who does a lot of uh, contrasting colors on my eye itself. Like I try to, I'm not, I don't like a monochromatic look, but you know, I like ones that are complementary. Contrasting colors like purple and green, not really, not really my thing. All right, so now we're going to take the, um, this is the shimmery, I think it's almost like pewter. It's very pretty. But if you take the purple and you put it over this copper, it doesn't really look purple. I'm just kind of bringing it into the, yeah, that's very pretty. I, like I said, I, I mean, for me, I would probably just take the green, put it all over my eyelid and just be done. I'd be like, oh, it's green, I'm done, I'm happy. <laughs> I love a good green. But I do want to show you all the shades. And I do like that a palette has the different shades in it so that you can use them. But like, for example, like this purple that's in here, I would love to use that with some of the shades in the Eau Natural, like this cream here. That's me personally, but anyway, okay. All right, we have to clean up a little bit. We have some fallout, um, not much, but a little bit. So we'll clean that up at the end. All right, so now I'm gonna take um, the silver shade. I'm gonna use my finger. Let's see what happens. Yeah, that's like the blue in the other one. I think if you use it by itself, it will work, but I think it's gonna look better if you have something underneath it um, for it to kind of grab onto. I'm just lightly buffing it, not buffing it away, because I think this is a shade that you could buff away if you overdid it. Okay, let me clean up the eye just a little bit. So as I said, there is a little bit of fallout from this one. So if you want to, if you want to avoid that, I would suggest either putting um, your eye makeup on first before you put your makeup on, um, or uh, eye guards, something like that. All right, so let's try the green. This is gonna be my favorite <laughs> shade. But um, 
I'll use it as liner. I was have a little bit of fallout, the green, so I would press it. There we go. It is a beautiful green. It is though, kind of like the gray and the purple and the, and the pewter and the blue and the uh, other one. It's sparkly, so if you're not careful, you're gonna get a lot of fallout from it. I would be, like, I would press it in and make sure that you have it pressed into the eye. Otherwise, you're gonna get, I think you're gonna get a lot of fallout from it. But it is beautiful. Um, I have to say, I'm looking forward to using that just on my eye itself, like all over my eye. That's probably my favorite shade. The other shade in here that I think is quite beautiful, I well, there's a couple, the copper shade, which I had on my eye to begin with. That's stunning. This purple is a really good purple. Purple is hard to do. Looks like Mardi Gras. Uh, I didn't really think about that. Anyway, uh, <laughs> those are all beautiful shades. So I'm very, I'm very happy that I have the palette. I probably won't use it like I used it today to create this look because like I said, for my own aesthetic, I just don't generally do that. I will probably use one or two shades maybe even three shades. So I'd use that brown matte in the beginning and then do like, I'd use this brown matte and then like use these two shades or I'd use this brown matte and then this use the silver over it or the brown matte and the purple or just the green, you know what I mean? That's for me, but you can't, you can't argue with the fact that the shades are all beautiful and they actually do blend together quite well. Okay, let me put on a little bit of mascara and then we'll try out the uh, lip. All right, so mascara is on. This is the Calorie Mascara. To be honest with you, this is the mascara I've been reaching for lately. I really do think it's excellent. It goes on easily. It comes right off of my Cojun Doe Spot Water. So it makes me very happy. I really love the look. It's, uh, it's a little dramatic <laughs> for me uh, just because I feel like using all the shades like that, you're gonna get a little bit of drama, especially that silver shade. You can kind of see how metallic and sparkly that is when you put that on the top. The green is lovely. I, as I showed you, all the shades are really, really gorgeous. And as I said, when I picked up the O Natural, now I wanna pick up the remaining um, compact. And you know what, I think this time I am just gonna go order it. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna finish filming and go order it because she only has three. She has the O Natural, the Regalia, which is on my eyes now, and the other one, which I'll put the name down below because I can't remember. And I love both of these so much. I, I don't see why I wouldn't lo love the third one. They, they really are beautiful, and the compacts are stunning. Um, and you know, I, I just, why not, get, why not get the third one? Because I'd love to see what the color story looks like. Um, this one is more colorful than the O Natural, but I think there are shades in here that I'm gonna reach for a lot. So let's try the lipstick. Now there's a number of different shades in the lipstick. When I first reviewed the O Natural, I think there was only like three shades. They were all matte. There are lip balms that she has. One is clear, one is like a rosewood shade, I think. Um, and so I will, I will actually try the balm. I wanted to go with the matte lipstick first though because that that is what she mostly has. Um, Rosebud seemed like a good shade for me. Uh, we'll see, but yeah, that'll work for me. Um, so I'm gonna try it out. It feels very creamy for a matte, I have to say, but that does not feel like a matte at all. That feels like a cream slash satin lipstick. I guess it does give a matte look on the face. Um, but it doesn't, it doesn't feel matte. It feels quite nice, actually. I don't know if the rosebud, I don't know if the rosebud is great, is great with this look. I think this is a little <sighs> coppery, a little warm, especially the green for pink. Like that's just my coloring. I think I would rather have something a little warmer on the lips. She has a number of different shades, so maybe I try out one of her warmer shades in the lip, a lip balm, and then the other eyeshadow um, palette. Yeah, that feels really nice, actually. I have noticed it, and, and many of you have mentioned that the new mattes aren't really mattes the way I think of them back in the day. Like, I remember matte being drying and 
cardboardy. These mattes in the lipstick formulas and in the foundations that have come out, they're not, um, not mattes the way I think of them. They're very soft mattes and they almost feel more like a velvet than a matte. Um, this feels extremely comfortable. Honestly, I'm gonna wanna wear it for a while, you know, and uh, I'll put it in the description box if it got really uncomfortable or anything on me. But right now, it feels, feels nice. Hmm. Okay. So, so to wrap up, uh, packaging is probably some of my favorite packaging I've ever seen. I just, I really love the way she did this. If you're not familiar with Olivia Palermo or you don't follow her Instagram feed or anything, you'll notice if you go look that she does a lot of tie-ins with jewelry and fashion. So she dresses beautifully and her, in my opinion, jewelry choices are outstanding. When she posted the regalia, you know, coming soon, she had a picture of jewelry with it and the link for the jewelry is to basically this jeweler in New York that does sort of like antique and vintage stuff that is, you know, like one of a kind pieces. So astronomical in price, but stunning. So I, I really love her jewelry and, and clothing choices. Uh, and I have to say she carried that over to her beauty line because it looks like a piece of jewelry to me. Uh, you know, the basket weave is just really beautifully done. And although gold is not really my color, I tend to prefer uh, white golds, uh, platinum. I do have gold jewelry, I do have gold items. Um, and I think, I understand why she chose gold uh, for, her, for her line. So, you know, I really do think it's beautiful. I think the packaging is outstanding. The products are very, very good, uh, if not excellent. And absolutely, did a fantastic job uh, with her launches. I mean, they're beautiful packaging, beautiful products. So, and I, I gotta say, like, I, I don't know what this one will do. I'll, I'll, I'll give you a description. I'll give you an update in the description. But the other one wore really well. So I'm gonna assume this one does too. But we'll see. I'll let you know. So thanks very much for joining me today, guys. I really do appreciate it. Hope to see you in another video really soon.